Praise the holy name, Father. Praise. Let me check and make sure this is yes. Praise the holy name. Father, I come to you and I'm asking you to speak your words to the ones you have already spoken to. Let it be a confirmation in their heart that you are speaking to them in love and in mercy and calling them out on this day, this time, and this hour to bring forth your true word, your true word in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. <clears throat> Um, get a little light on this subject, or maybe that's too much light. But anyway, <clears throat> I, I'm coming tonight, Sabbath day, night, and I felt led to do this, to send out a message. Now in Acts, let me read read this in Acts, and it is the second chapter, beginning with the seventeenth verse. And we know that <clears throat> Pentecost had just was happening. The Rukadesh had come down upon the apostles, the disciples, and they were, you know, spoke with other tongues, and and it was amazing to the people that heard, they was thinking, oh, well, these people have to be drunk or something. So this is what Paul said to them. I mean, not Paul, but Peter said to them. Well, right here at the 16th verse, but this is which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days for uh, my spirit and they shall prophesy and I shall show wonders in heaven above and we've been seeing wonders and signs on the earth beneath blood fire and vapor of smoke this year has been a strange year very strange Begins with all the birds dying here in Arkansas and fish coming up and, you know, just all over the world there was different things going on. You know, fish dying and, and uh, whales being beached and, which that has happened before, but, and then we have horrendous storms like the one that took out Joplin not too far from me. It, it just... I've heard so many people said this has been a weird year. Weird year. Well, we are in the last days. And being on this Sabbath, I felt led <clears throat> to call out to the young people. Because I have young people that's, that listens to my videos. It is time for you to begin to stand up for Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and bring forth His true words to put on that armor and to stand and speak the true words of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And the way He spoke them, not the way somebody else has told you, but the way 
he spoke them. I mean, study what he really said. Because it is time for a group of youth to come together seeking him, praying, praying strongly for his will, and going out and, and just loving people, you know, giving them the holy word of Yeshua, how he come and he died for them. Not in anger or not in bitterness, not with hate, but with pure love of Yeshua. There will be many that won't listen to you. Some will even make fun of you. But pray for them. In doing this, you do not let the root of bitterness come into your heart and drag you down into a pit. But you look at everyone as a human being created in the image of God. And that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, came and died for that person that you're looking at. You may see, you may see the sin like shackles hanging on that person. From the things that's happened to that person in their life. And the shackles that Satan has put upon them. Then we need to pray for them. Earnestly seek the Lord that if it's not us, then it's someone else that they can, that the Father can put before them to give them a true testimony of Him and maybe turn that person's heart to Yeshua and cause it to be a, a lose, a lose for Satan and a win for God. Because that's what we're here for. We are here to speak of His goodness and His love. To tell people that when they're beat down, they seem like they're at the lowest bottom point of their life. There is someone that loves them, that died for them, and can bring them up. But we need a group of young people that will take the courage in love and to, truly total obedience to the Ru Kadesh to walk out there in love and pray for these people and let your light shine forth. There's been many a time I'd just be walking down the street looking in the window and I'd have somebody come up and just all of a sudden just started talking to me and laying all their problems on me. And they'd even look at me and go, I, I don't know why I'm telling you this stuff. And I so, I'd say, I know why. I know why you're here. And I would tell them about Yeshua, Jesus Christ's love for them. And, and, you know, witness to them in love and offer to pray for them. Um, I just don't lay hands on people. I say, may I pray for you? There's only been a few times that I've had them say, oh, no, 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 I'm not worthy. And, and I'd go, well, I just want you to remember before you go that Yeshua died for you. And that none of us is worthy when it comes right down to it. But through his death, his love, his kindness, and his mercy, he's paid the price. And that's the only way we can be worthy. Because it's not us. It's not anything that we could possibly do. But it's him. Then we lay our life down for Him, 
and he will come in and the Ruh Kadesh will come in and clean the house from all the anger and the bitterness and the lust and the profanity and and all of those hurts and pains that are stored back there in them little corners of our heart from where people has hurt us and and belittled us and he can sweep them all out and put peace that passes understanding within our hearts and life but we need a group of young people that will go to school and then while you walking the halls that will be praying for that school and those people now you don't have to get on your knees and start making a show right here God hears everything that you think he hears everything that's in your heart and when you begin to walk down those corridors between classes and you're praying for the students that are walking past you you're praying for the teachers that are going to be teaching the classes you're praying for the holy Ruh Kadesh to come and descend <clears throat> God, Yahweh, is going to hear your heart. <coughs> and He will hear your earnest pray. You begin to pray when you come in the house, your home. And you pray for your family. You pray for your mother and your dad and your grandma and your grandpa. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> But honestly, pray and seek the Father's holy blessing upon your home, upon your family, daily. Make it a consistent thing you do, a pray, prayer at all times. You will feel the change that comes over you from the inside out people will see that in you and they will begin to desire what you have and begin to come and ask you questions our country <coughs> excuse me our country is so backslidden And Satan has taken prayer out of school, but he can't take it out of your heart. He can't arrest you and stop you when you're walking down there and you're praying for everybody around you because it's between you and the Father Yahweh. And I'm calling out to the older generation. You know, it's really easy to sit back and criticize kids because there's a lot of stuff for kids to get into nowadays. But it is your job to pray for them and uphold them because. I know you're busy working. You're busy coming home and trying to see that the family's taken care of. But I'm telling you, we need to uphold our youth and pray for them. Pray for them. Our youth. Our youth that we have right now is what could save America, is what could overcome this world. And I don't know, I just, I, I feel it's so important that the youth carry the word out everywhere. Just carry that word out. 
how you sure died for us, loves us, cares for us, and that we can come to Him just as we are, and He will forgive us and cleanse us if we let Him. I'm calling on to the youth of America, especially. <clears throat> I know it's hard, and I know some are on drugs because you, you feel hopeless. Some are, are drinking because you feel hopeless. And this world does seem like a hopeless place that's just going nowhere. But there's hope in Yeshua. Jesus Christ and he is coming back to earth soon I really believe soon but this is the time these are the last days all of these things are coming and I am pleading with the youth to just give it all to him he, the, he will take away your despair. He will take away your depression. He will take away the desires of the world that seems to overrun the youth. You know, Satan has just got into the youth and has been that way for years and years and years. But the morality of the sexuality of our youth is being so tore apart even by our government. We need to seek Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, the one who can give us eternal life. Not to live in this chaos, but live in the peace of Him. For we have jobs to do there too. And He's calling you out today. He's calling the youth out today. And He's calling the older generation out to pray for that youth so they will send the true word of Yeshua. Please read in Matthew write what what Yeshua said on how to love people, how to pray for them, how to stand into the gap for them, like a bridge over the troubled waters that they will become to know Yeshua. I'm calling for the youth. I'm calling for the youth to listen with your heart what the Rugadesh, the Holy Spirit, is saying to you. Surrender your whole life to Him because you have an awesome message to send forth. Many are waiting for you. Father, in the name of Yeshua, on this, your Sabbath night, I'm asking for the blessings to not only be on this video, but upon the hearts of everyone that listens to this video that they will come to know their place in the kingdom, what you are calling them out to do and speak in the last days, that they will be able to bring the lost in to you, the ones that don't believe in you, the ones that are broken hearted and that had once known you and they walked away because of so many terrible things that has happened in their life 
send your love out to the youth, the broken-hearted youth, that they know how to speak to those ones that are already broken-hearted too. Father, in the name of Yeshua, let your holy blessings pour down upon the ones that are listening. Let a revival of the Ru Kadesh flow from this video out and bring the youth in to you. In the name of Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ.